Hello YouTube. Hello, it's me, Adrian Snaps again, with a new Blender game engine, Python scripting tutorial. And this week I decided to record a video of how to make speedometer in game engine. Yeah. So I have created the basic demo scene. It has very horribly looking car model and ground and some lighting. So I'll start off with setting up a quick movement. For this speedometer tutorial I need to have either dynamic or rigid body physics on car, otherwise it won't work. I'll set the most basic drag possible. Like this. Okay, seems fine. Possibly thousand and three something like that. This mass seems correct. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll set up very basic logic for moving car. Yeah. You can even don't do this if you don't need it. For example, if you have already set up your own car setup, because this tutorial is meant for speedometer, assuming that most of you use vehicle wrapper or something like that. But if you wish, you can also test this first and see like this. Um, I'll apply force in positive x axis. No, not enough. still doesn't apply. Why? I have set it up, but does it, is it too small for some amount? Okay. Yeah, now it drives well. And I'll add camera to the scene. Appears to be good. Yeah, the camera could track different. Ah, I'll stick it with it right now. So, let's get in speedometer. First, I'll create a script and call it speedometer. Dot pop py because it's Python script, but it's not. I'll enable syntax highlighting and row numbers. So, I'll start with creating one function and it's going to be get speed. And for this sake of time, I'm going to use global dictionary, but in one of my next tutorials I'm planning to show you an alternate faster more flexible way however now I'm gonna use global dict so
here it may worry for example if your car is facing that direction when you press in local mode on the green Y or for example in opposite direction you must then set it like on point or if the car would be like this then you would set it to Y if it would be like this then you would set it to negative dot Y something like that yeah in my case it's facing in X direction so I set it to X and now we run it on the car every frame here we use the module mode because we created this definition function inside of here so you type speed meter without the prefix here just uh, this part before the dot and then you add dot and the function name without brackets this is how it works so now we are going to create another function set speedometer again oh I pressed it action accidentally I didn't mean I pressed F12 huh <laughs> okay don't pay attention to it um I want and here we set it own text now it will be capital T equals gd dot get speed done we add new scene or copy settings are called hard I'll use the same set for camera now it no worries maybe you'll need to be there so I add text I'll call it speed I'm not gonna play with it so I lose I'm gonna place it here for now scale down like this add text property always Python and again model speedometer dot set speedometer I hope I spelled right I'll check it so yeah wait one more thing you must do is add had seen as over overlay. I'm gonna add a ton in it like this. And now if I run the game I can see the speed but I must check yeah one more correction to you it must use always sensor here that's setter I took a mistake sorry I really didn't mean to okay and now when I run game you can see it shows the speed however it shows the speed in meters per second but in racing games m in most cases you don't want to be meters per second usually use something like miles per hour or kilometers per hour I use kilometers per hour because I live in country which uses SI units that's metric units I mean yeah and so it uses kilometers per hour for kilometers an hour you just multiply by 3.6 and now you can see this car appears to be pretty weak, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and see you next time.